16.05.26 Vanus Enigma Video Mix 154 Right now I am looking out of my window here in Gran Canaria Blading Glass over Blading Glass um, I see till the sea and always the sea, the sea level, the horizon felt always very high and I always never was able to imagine how is it possible, is it really the, w the earth spinning or the things should fall off <laughs> Now I'm really very, very, very convinced of this topic, almost taboo. That's why I created that hashtag, Let's Talk FE, Flat Earth. And anyway, what mo most convinced me about is how it is, po is it possible if the s how is that the sun reflects in the sea when it's very low you're standing with your feet in the water <laughs> it shouldn't reflect all the way till your feet anyway <laughs> it's it's all it seems all like a joke to me the whole life what are we living for running uh, behind fake money, fake fucking money, federal state? Today it's a little cloudy. This morning there was some sun I had to get off very early because I had a blood analysis. Uh. <laughs> I told you before I had anorexia at the age of 12 so my hands, feet and arms um, the consequence very bad blood circulation and I asked the woman who take my blood why can't you take blood of the legs uh, there you see my um, my veins you see much better in my legs than in my arms and especially in the morning then you feel cold and uh, at least I <laughs> I had to walk about um, 40 minutes to go there to Centro de Salud aquí Gran Canaria so in the last five or ten minutes at least uh, my hands get a little warm another times I remember in Germany uh, when I had to go there I drove there with the car and it's very cold it's all frozen no blood gets out of my fucking veins and um, I know if you do the testosterone treatment the uh, circulation of the blood will be much better um, this is one of my anyway I told you before uh, one of my main reasons why I want to do the testosterone treatment is because the blood circulation gets much better I have much much I'm suffering always from always 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 siempre 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 uh, cold hand and feet and the consequence is the, the always chronic uh, throat disease eh? uh, <coughs> I, I'm really <laughs> more than old enough uh, two times 18 years old more than told two times <laughs> to justify my decision and don't tell me if I 
here in Spain if I wait till I have the permission or the help of first they uh, anyway they said sent me to psychologist and then to endocrinologist and this can take another half of my life and I don't know I don't know how long I'm going to wait uh, maybe I go one day I, I have many things to do but I am uh, oh, just looking out of the window almost this car uh, atropellado ese hombre con los perros sorry no uh, sometimes really I still I'm still much more fluent and Spanish because almost like my last 20 years I've been li living here in Spain and I have oh, I admit many allergies over my life one of them is speaking German fucking German Deutsch sprechen, Testosteron stechen is a rhyme, <laughs> a funny rhyme. If I get angry, I, I fall into sarcasm. <laughs> I must uh, uh, con convert my aggression into creative sarcasm. <laughs> Sometimes I really, really like to remember myself why I'm creating uh, these videos I must admit I <sighs> I'm living a very solitary I live on my own I don't have children um, and okay I <sighs> okay wait a minute let's start again I don't want to say I feel alone but I see the necessity to uh, practice um, my ability to speech and I like to I prefer to wait a minute let's start again <laughs> imagine you're living with somebody and you, you you feel like you want to talk and but this person is in their own thoughts they have no head at all to listen to you and uh, anyway if they would listen you would get the, uh, an, an annoying answer I'm very I feel very pissed off and I don't want to get angry with anybody because I understand that anybody everybody has their own problems and I prefer that people listen to me who feel uh, interested, maybe boring, but uh, you know, I, I listen to many YouTube videos too and I want to thank you uh, who are creating these videos. <laughs> Sorry, I really should say that more often. I want to thank you all. I learned a lot of these many people who create these YouTube videos and it's help for other people and for yourself it's it's a psych psychotherapy for yourself and I, it's not necessary that you show your face you can pre create videos like me you I I use this uh, voice recorder it's much more comfortable than okay the 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 normal phones that have these options too but especially if you're outside you don't see where is the stop bottom and if the sun is shining you don't see on the screen where's the stop bottom and it's much more comfortable if you may want to make a pause with these uh, typical voice recorders the cheapest maybe 60 euros aquí Carrefour Gran Canaria <laughs> I don't want to uh, oh they should pay me <laughs> uh, but I, I'm not mentioning any any company <laughs> anyway it's uh, it's a psychotherapy and uh, you know um, many years before uh, maybe the parents or other people recommended you 
to uh, write a diary, but writing, it's much more easy to talk and it's, it's good to practice your talking, especially regarding, I want to mention again, my I have many Twitter accounts, but I, my favorite Twitter account, I'm more active on, my main Twitter account is Vanus Enigma Video Mix. But I'm more active on my Twitter account, Innocent Crypto Kitty, because I think uh, innocent is very important to be innocent. What is it worth if you earn all the fucking money in the world and then the state comes to confiscate your property? Huh? What's the what's what what's the way of you? I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional, but sometimes the anger is positive because it helps you to create energy. Energy, too much drinking coffee is not good either because it creates like a, a blood sugar go like a spike up and fall down much deeper than the than the. Uh, basement like I feel like I'm I'm uh, more down than the basement in this testosterone my my uh, before you know I'm over 40 and you know that women uh, in the age of 20 in comparison to the age of 40 the the testosterone level falls much lower than and anyway w women have seven times less testosterone than men. There's one really good um, YouTube channel I recommend BioHealthCast Later I will show again. Maybe I will if I don't if I remember I will paste in the description. I really recommend this um, YouTube channel about information, especially they uh, wrote a book about uh, the secret hormone for women, testosterone. As I mentioned before, um, blood analysis. <sighs> One of my Uh, the last time I talked with my doctor, I'm lucky she is female because often um, females uh, understand. I think uh, I'm not feeling lesbian, but um, I think it's I prefer to have a female doctor because uh, a woman understands a person who has been born female like me understands uh, uh, these people better because in general these yeah anyway uh, what I wanted to say um, I told her that Maybe one of my main uh, reason why I feel uh, depressed often is because I have less security. I feel less <laughs> sure when I... When 20 years ago, when I was just 20 something, I was feeling much more secure because I think anyway the testosterone levels were much higher and I didn't have problems with blood sugar. But these last 10 years, often I had some kind of uh, problems with blood sugar that suddenly, suddenly I felt very weak and uh, very probable sometimes uh, taking too much coffee or eating too sweet not the right alimentation 
so lately I've been avoiding very much sugar. I uh, almost only eat um, um, especially many potatoes and eggs because I know that eggs are a very good source of protein and cholesterol cholesterol which is uh, the source of pr uh, testosterone um, <laughs> long time I think several months now I opened one marmalade <laughs> uh, now at the top of the mind I don't remember the name in English but in Spanish is Arandanos in German is Heidelbeeren uh, <laughs> I admit I am not perfect by, but I am perfect because I have a profile picture of a cat <laughs> and I think sometimes it's really uh, <laughs> not so important to be uh, perfect but it's important to be perfect <laughs> so now you just by the way notice that I have better knowledge in in Spanish and in German and then maybe yeah I really like to speak English because uh, lately especially if you explore different topics there's much more information in 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 especially in english than spanish or maybe spanish and german the same maybe but still there are much more people who speak spanish so i would put spanish before german <sighs> do you understand <laughs> and i i tell you a little secret <laughs> This is, belongs already to TMI, too much information, <laughs> alphabet soup. <laughs> so a long time I, I opened this, this glass of marmalade and I thought, uh, sometimes I open the fridge and I think, uh, what should I, ah, uh, this should, I should, waste that now soon because it, I opened this long time ago <laughs> so um, but I I like to avoid uh, this sweet stuff but I can't resist to <sighs> drink alcohol sometimes but I li I really like to avoid it in the evening because I know it really it it it's really bad for the sleep. So <laughs> what I did is take some uh, some about two big spoons of this marmalade uh, of arandanos and in the mixer with water and add vodka or whiskey whatever I just <laughs> in the mixer so because uh, vodka or whiskey only is a little uh, very mm, boring <laughs> I like to a little bit sweet not much but just a little uh, honey is the easiest dilute but as I wanted to waste some of this marmalade <laughs> and now I'm funny but before I started <laughs> I don't know sometimes this mm, these last days I was depressive again and just today again really believe it or not I I started to uh, actually out of almost no reason I started to cry but sometimes it's like a di addiction because the crying feels like an, a substitute for an organ 
orgasm and sometimes it's like before I cry then I drink alcohol then I turn I stop crying or sometimes it's, it's just vice versa I feel like cry, crying but the, cr and the tears don't come I drink some alcohol and then I start to cry <laughs> But I really, 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 really teach my... I really sometimes try to have no alcohol at all at home. And I really... I, I only want to drink if I feel some kind of... Uh, not just... not of joy. I, do, I really don't want to drink of joy. I I have days I really don't drink at all, but especially the talking comes. <laughs> I admit the talking comes much more easy when I drink a little. And <laughs> just the last two two times I listened to the Bitcoin dog. <laughs> I gave him the the <laughs> the name Bitcoin dog because <laughs> anyway, what I want to say. The last at least two times he said something like uh, 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 later if you want to talk with me I uh, find me at the beer ba bar <laughs> anyway I want to be happy on my own fuck yourself <laughs> yeah this is I I admit I even opened some years ago I opened that page Bitcoin dog blocked cryptocurrency cat why what the fuck and yeah I, I admit I have some uh, some admiration for some people Right, fuck yourself I want to be happy on your on my own I talk more I talk to myself and I can I can send flowers to myself because now I'm a traitor. I can I have a female and a masculine inside. You know, I don't need you anymore. So fuck yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to offend anybody but I think it's important to be happy on your own and just want to uh, actually as I started before I want to show you that it's a good idea to produce videos like I do it's like a, um, a psychology therapy for yourself and uh, whoever wants to listen who has time Without uh, feeling offended, you can listen. You are welcome to listen. You can learn from lessons I have learned. Yeah, this is, uh, I think, uh, maybe one of my most important messages. But. Uh, <coughs> No, now I'm just thinking about what, why, uh, okay, there might be a little reason why I started to cry today. I admit I was reading a comment, uh, I, uh, yeah, I know, uh, wait a minute. I should explain once again why I disabled comments because I <sighs> I said very often in which situation I am I feel often like throwing the phone out of the window and it costs very much time to read all these comments often I feel much worse when I read these comments but my I myself, if I have, I'm uh, in a good mood. Sometimes I write some comments, and this is a person who wrote an answer to my comment I wrote, and uh, I was feeling like uh, I want to say often these 
short message, written messages. It's easy to misunderstand the feelings which are behind these messages. That's why I actually prefer um, answers in form of a video reply. You hear the voice. Uh, it's much more easy to say, to explain much more the thoughts which are just <laughs> Twitter uh, now just thinking of Twitter limitation of uh, 140 characters and this often just you want actually was to want to um, make it short and then you cut out some words and in the end the the message gets distorted so. In the end, I think it's 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 much better now. I remember a uh, Mark K. Sargent, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, a long time, actually, I wanted to, but I, anyway, I must. G I really just what I said. It gives really. Uh, it's, it gives a right to him in his opinion that he seems he doesn't does not want to open a Twitter account. Yeah, anyway, all that stuff costs much time and I should yeah, maybe it's time I should make a special video for him. I really appreciate his work. He always tries to put the license creative commons and the same the bitcoin dog i'm referring i don't want to na say his uh, name on i think it's really his legal name but i prefer to to say bitcoin dog hashtag bitcoin dog it's not hard to figure out uh, whom i'm talking about <laughs> but uh, he's really he's really very good explaining Bitcoin and the philosophy behind and I'm very very much um, I really agree with very much of his philosophy with exception of of course I yeah often yeah the, the Bible the Bible <laughs> but um, I don't want to you lose my faith in Jesus Christ anyway I have to die so I want to believe in the words of Jesus Christ okay there are many things in the Bible especially in the Old Testament I disagree with Leviticus that uh, women uh, stoned to death and so on <sighs> be fruitful and multiply what? what? question mark? <laughs> so this way if you are a woman you are just uh, occupied uh, giving birth to uh, how many children and uh, provide uh, the money and uh, everything they need for the children uh, you don't have any any time at all uh, to think about uh, wait a minute what is the sense of life Ah, I think there is one, one, one commandment which is like some kind of left out. It's like I, it came to my mind like, you, thou shalt not be smarter, smarter than the game creator, the ma, the, the game master. As I mentioned in the last video. Uh, I I really like this, that video of Simpson to imagine how is it uh, to be God and look down on oh, I really should ok anyway I normally I listen again to what are these voice recordings and then add pictures but this time I really want to remember to add this a small 
few seconds of video, short video, video clip of the model like God looking down on the earth, the model of flat earth and the, su the sun turning and always a little faster than the moon and comparing, comparing the summer to the winter circles so in the in the summer in the end the sun runs faster on the southern hemisphere near Antarctica by the way I just look looked up uh, finally the word arandano espanol German uh, Heidelbeere in Spanish it's a blueberry anyway I could have described uh, the, the fruit if it's fresh it's blue and it grows in the forest and yeah especially in Germany sometimes we went into the forest and collect these and just now thinking I bought already the ticket for Germany why said my mom and now I'm just thinking of one way where there are many Braumbeeren in German <laughs> now I should look that up that word in, in German it's like a, but the same almost just a, the 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 more the purple color more like not red but <laughs> I should have put on now I put it off again <laughs> anyway you know what I mean these uh, which grow um, in the wilderness and it's near um, anyway I told you before my mom lives near Baden Baden the first visit of Obama and now I'm thinking of Michelle Obama of the comparison of the ring finger and the index finger so this way uh, you can see the, f the difference who has been born male and female maybe I put I paste um, later when I select the images to create the slideshow I want to remember to add this screen capture of that video I think the YouTube channel is pockets of the future 95% probability that Michelle, Michelle Obama was born male anyway look at look at her sh shoulders and then one pic picture there's even some kind of <laughs> bulto in espanol where should be the vagina <laughs> oh such a long to-do list sometimes I'm t just now I'm telling myself I should translate what the reason why I make this uh, video um, 50, 52, 54 it's because in between I want to translate into Spanish but I uh, sometimes maybe I would have somebody to give a little <laughs> kick in the butt <laughs> to push me a little tell me when do you do the translation please so maybe uh, yes I know I disabled the comments because I I've, uh, I anyway you have my Twitter and my Facebook and um, but maybe I would help somebody to tell me when do you do the translation into Spanish? Maybe this would help to do it. I actually I should this do before because then anyway I'm listening and maybe I think about to add the slides and maybe it would be really 
it would be the time to translate into Spanish. But this time of, you know, about maybe two months or three, I still was not thinking about any testosterone treatment and all this this thought process is new to me and especially in the beginning uh, this uh, first week or two I was sleeping I could not sleep and I'm still uh, taking many uh, tablets to sleep at night and still yeah many people suffer from depression and but it's 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 good to have a certain a routine to stick to some customs and yeah maybe if you like it maybe it would help me to push me to to do what I actually have on my <laughs> to-do list. Right. You are really welcome if you write that comment. When do you do the translation into Spanish? Please! Because we want to learn Spanish. Anyway, I have in my advertisement... Uh, yeah, you know the style I used before to produce my videos every sentence translate into Spanish but I really think it's better that way yeah when I started to learn Spanish here about 20 years ago I wrote small papers and it's always better to write a whole sentence because then you you learn the the grammar automatically not just learn words but learn whole sentences you understand because anyway the babies learn like this and not learn pure grammar gra sorry Pure grammar is very boring, and it uh, often doesn't make you you you. It's better the, the the children they learn it just by hearing. If if something sounds, I remember I was really good in grammar because I think I have a very good um. Uh, my father was musician. I know how something has to sound. Maybe that's why it's more easy to... Uh, for example, if I speak Spanish, people don't notice I'm German. But there are, um, are there many Sp German people. If I hear them, I, I know exactly they are from Germany or they are from Switzerland. Just talking in Spanish because I, I know how uh, the sound okay my English may not sound perfect but I think I sound much more uh, natural than other German people speaking English <laughs> just now I had a look in dictionary <laughs> German Heidelbeere in English is Huckleberry, like Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> These uh, wild fruits, similar like blueberry. In one way, we went for a walk with a friend of my mom. She actually looks a little bit like a FTM too. Always this short hair. And <laughs> in the end, maybe <laughs> the <laughs> she will be <laughs> she will get the same go the same path like me. I wonder, maybe I think many people are not conscious about the the positive effects of testosterone, 
And anyway, my, so many people uh, suffer from breast cancer, so <laughs> especially then in combination with the treatment of testosterone, uh, the mastectomy has the two advantages. First, of course, the diminish the risk of breast cancer and to balance the body with the female uh, with the male uh, appearance with being <laughs> anyway if the 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 bird hairs grow and the 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 voice goes low <laughs> But for me, it's much more how I feel than how other people feel when they look, they look at me. Especially if, yeah, I said it uh, several times before, the, the effects of anorexia I had and, and the effects of the mood and depression you you feel less likely to want to cry all the time just for no reason now it's several hours later and I remember want to mention something um, in relation to that Twitter account Innocent Crypto Kitty when I said uh, about um, to be innocent and um, at least once in the Bible uh, it says what's worth to gain the whole world and lose your soul and right now I am lis started to listen to a video with the title Chase analysis with Collins Brothers, the androgynous world order uh, of the YouTube channel JD. Wait a minute, published October 2014. So that video I men just mentioned is very long, almost three hours. And in between, I'm listening a little to Kaiser report, and I often, almost always, I listen to the Spanish version, Kaiser report en español, because <laughs> just to uh, refresh my Spanish, because mainly I'm listening to English videos, but you know that I'm living here in Spain, Gran Canaria and as I mentioned before uh, I've got on my to-do list to translate uh, these videos into Spanish and what I wanted to say in relation to the topic of a legal system and innocence uh, just this uh, topic is un futuro sin jubilación and all this corruption Panama Papers and once again that quote of Rothschild give me control over a na nation's money and I care not who makes its laws so just uh, the importance again of money and in relation to money especially cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and as I mentioned before flat earth so I combined these two topics flat earth coin just having a look at different images uh, when I gave uh, the search engine of this quote Another quote, government is the great fiction through which everybody endeavors to live at the expense of everybody else. Frederick Bastiat. 
I just want to add a few minutes of that video, the androgynous world order. Uh, it, the video is uh, two hours and 45 minutes long, just a few minutes, starting from one hour and 44 minutes. Like the Red Parts magazine, uh, she 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 came forward with her with, about her relationship, and, and in the Washington Post, she stated, "quote In my experience, the agency was completely different from its image. It was liberal, nonviolent, and honorable." Unquote. And when she spoke about the Vienna Youth Festival, she told the unit, the New York Times, "quote I was happy." to find some liberals in government in those days who were far-sighted and cared enough to get Americans of all political views to the, um, to the festival. So she really didn't see any kind of difference between her radical message and the beliefs that were held by those within the CIA. So it sounds like, uh, it sounds just like what, what Quigley tells us in Tragedy and Hope in more than one place that uh, many mistake the left and the communists for some separate faction when in fact many of these, or the, excuse me, uh, mistake the elite for uh, communists and Marxists when in fact uh, they have the same goals. So, uh, you know, this, this is all straight out of Quigley. Yeah, the southern, some of the forces with the southern rim elites, some of the nativist forces here in the United States, um, People with the John Birch Society accidentally conflated the communist with with these forces, and the reason for that was because there was a symbiotic relationship there. You know, I mean, if you go back to the to the original catalyst of the Red Scare, Alger Hiss. Alger Hiss was it was claimed that he was a Soviet a Soviet spy here in the United States. Well, he ceased to be a Soviet spy after the Silver Master uh, cell that he was a part of broke up. And then he went to work for, um, for uh, the, the Roosevelt administration. And as uh, Pavel Sudoplatov, uh, 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 um, who had worked for Berea, points out in his, in his, uh, in his book, um, uh, he, he appeared to be a Soviet spy because he was acting as as a liaison between the Roosevelt administration and the Soviet elites. He was part of a private uh, intelligence group that had been formed by Roosevelt, and he was selected by Roosevelt specifically because of his pro-Soviet tilt that, that had, you know, that had come about from past espionage. Which comes out of the Trento book, like you, like you guys mentioned. Um, so, with uh, um, with all this in mind, what what is relate this back to to the goal of androgyny? What what how does this relate back to feminism? All this all this espionage and geopolitics. How do we get that back to? Uh, what's the point of androgyny? Well, again, the point of androgyny from 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 a pragmatic standpoint. Um, androgyny serves the uh, goals of the uh, of the uh, criminal elite because it basically results in zero population growth. It it keeps the uh, population of serfs uh, in a manageable uh, demographic. Uh, it keeps them to a manageable demographic level because <coughs> obviously you do not want those that you wish to control outnumbering you, because then that poses quite a problem. You could be easily deposed uh, just by the sheer force of numbers. It, um, is, there an, is, there, is there an alchemical element to it? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the, the alchemical element is uh, on the very level of ontology, the very, the very, uh, the very level of uh, the very essence of the human being, they are attempting to alter humanity. To make uh, to expunge from humanity all those uh, characteristics that define it, uh, it all all those uh, very uh, traits that are determinants of human identity, because human identity is is the enemy. They 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 
aspire towards a more, uh, they, they, they extrapolate this metaphysical monism into the realm of politics and governance. Now we're talking about a, more of a political monism, mm. you know, of the amalgamation of nation states into a single transnational, uh, uh, transnational uh, global order. Likewise, they want to do the same with humanity. They want to homogenize humanity. And, from, and in order to, 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 in order to homogenize humanity and condense humanity into a collective, an individual identity has to be abolished. And one of the significant determinants of individual identity is sex, is gender. And so, the, those have to, those have to, as meaningful uh, concepts, have to be completely abolished, and you have to promote this this notion of of a sexless a sexless humanity, where where, where there are no discernible uh, di distinctions between male and female. What and this this bears very ominous. Uh, uh, similarities with uh, the, the uh, sort of uh, societal models that we see amongst insect colonies. Insect colonies oh, yeah. are, are yeah, they're, they're drones. They're sexless. They're, 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 there's no notions of gender within within insect colonies. Why should there be? They are all just drones. And you'll notice, like with with a uh, 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 subversive organizations uh, that uh, emerged during the Enlightenment era, particularly the Bavarian Illuminati. Um, um, and I don't want to delve into the sensationalist conspiratorial uh, uh, or the sensationalist conspiracist notions of the Illuminati. But, but there was there was insect iconography. Yes, right, right. The the bee and the hive, and yeah. Exactly, exactly. As a matter of fact, one of the aliases of, of the Bavarian Illuminati, if I'm not mistaken. Be an Orden. Yeah. Be an Orden. Orden. The Order of the Bees. Yeah. Be an Orden. Uh, the, the Order of the Bees. This this iconography that is intimately related to the insect world, and that is that is the very same that that very same mentality is exemplified in the uh, Enlightenment's anthropology, which uh, depicted humanity as what. Tabula rasa, right? A, a blank tablet with no real intrinsic features, no real intrinsic traits, completely and totally just, just, just something a, a, a canvas awaiting the enlightened brushstrokes of social engineers. Yeah, and that that same enlightenment uh, mentality governs uh, much of the thinking in, in various different forms, but the th much of the thinking of today's criminal elite, and that's the alchemical ends towards which they are striving with the promotion of androgyny through feminism, through the LGBTI movement. And, and, if I may add here, uh, also, um, any any criticisms with, we might have of Aquinas, as I, I'm, I'm not too sure where you, where you stand on Aquinas, um, but Aquinas did come up with a good definition of what being effeminate was. And he basically said, Aquinas said that being effeminate is, is uh, casting off any kind of arduous, or, uh, any kind of arduous activity, any kind of arduous enterprise in the pursuit of pleasure and all. And so, and so you can see why, why uh, this would lend it Stuff to the elite if men were more effeminate and everything, because instead of an arduous task such as such as you know uh, some kind of real scholarly research into into the polit into the undercurrents of 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 the uh, of of politics of 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 intelligence and, and the like, um, men are now at twenty and thirty and forty years of age. Um, in front of a in front of a television screen, you know, playing a Game Boy or a PS, uh, a PlayStation, whatever number they're up to now, whatever numerical designation they're up to, and everything. So it actually lends itself to to um, the elite to cultivate an effeminate kind of um, kind of uh, personality within within men. Nothing masculine.
that would that would seek to take on an art an arduous task that is actually more meaningful. And any, and anything that is masculine is actually also co-opted as uh, uh, diversion and distraction, such as uh, you know NFL or, or MMA. If you know we, all these guys who think they're going to be MMA uh, fighters and uh, you know have no idea about you know what's happening in the world, but uh, they think they're going to be you know on there with Joe Rogan or something. Right. Well, again, Clint Murchison, who was part of one of the, the part of the Southern Rim faction. You know, he was a big mover and shaker in the NFL. And he also loomed large in the, in the Kennedy uh, assassination. But nobody would know about Clint's, uh, uh, Clint's involvement in any of that because everybody's busy watching Clint's teams running down, <laughs> up, down the damn field. So, you know, so he, he's created his own distraction. And all. Oh, don't, don't look at me. You know, look, look at Elon Sanders. Look how many yards he just took. Holy cow. You know, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the 200 pound, 200 pound freaking lineman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just, just look, look at the O line. Don't look, don't look at what's behind it, which is cocaine and, and, and sex and, and, and gambling and what have you. You know, just pay attention to the bread and circuses. Managing all the vices as well as all the virtues. Full spectrum dominance. So, uh, last time we had that long conversation about, um, you know, the alien hoax, and I just wanted to throw a, a weird one in here uh, as we sort of wrap things up. Can we see any kind of connection between this bizarre feminist LGBTI alphabet soup agenda and uh, the alien scam. Um, what about androgynous space brothers? What about new mythologies of, of you know, we see Dawkins now uh, openly talking about panspermia and, and the, the alien brothers are, are, are coming and they're there and maybe and who knows. Uh, there was an article, in fact, lab, well, a week or two ago about Dawkins coming out again and talking about aliens and how that's rational now. Uh, can we see a connection there? Yeah, certainly. I mean, if you look at uh, these uh, chi these chimerical extraterrestrial biological uh, entities that are uh, promoted by the various uh, circles of, of uh, ufology, and now to a certain extent, yes, the uh, the uh, evolutionist evolutionist like Richard Dawkins, who are so very rational as to not believe in a ridiculous absurdity like God, but we will believe that the planet was seeded by aliens. <laughs> of course, you know, they, 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 you, you see with, with a, a chronically reiterated theme, uh, uh, the, the theme of androgyny. These, these uh, aliens tend to be sexless. Uh, they have no notions of gender. And of course, since they are further along on the uh, the, the uh, evolutionary journey than humanity, right. the assumption right. is they must know something we don't, they must have a gnosis, you know, this 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 myth of an alien gnosis, and comprising uh, that alien gnosis is the notion of androgyny. And again, androgyny is depicted in a soteriological sense. It's 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 imbued with salvific uh, a salvific uh, quality um, Anything that differentiates, anything that de uh, denotes distinction, such as gender, is viewed as it, it inherently corrupt. Um, it's viewed as uh, as somehow wrong because it's divisive and what have you and everything. And and the aliens because they have this collective consciousness, and that collective consciousness was the result of millions of years of evolution, mm -hmm. the very same evolutionary process that governs humanity must be leading to the very same telios. Yeah. And, and because the aliens have outpaced us from an evolutionary perspective, their any sexuality must be conflated now with superiority. Right. And so right. it's something that if, if we want to ever match or make parity with the aliens, we need to strive for asexuality. Now that may sound that may sound far fetched, but again 
look at what what we see constantly promoted. I mean, the, the, you know, aliens is is one of the establishment uh, uh, branded and stamped conspiracy theories. That's that's the conspiracy theory that you're supposed to go to. You know, you'll find endless news clips about you know aliens and UFOs. And and so again, like we highlighted last time, uh, what is this ultimately in the big psyop? Well, as you guys pointed out, it seems to be a new mythology, a new yep. uh, narrative. Yep, yep, a new grand narrative, and the end thereof is the enshrinement of a collective. Right. And, and both and both and both factions of the elite seem to have been involved in the creation of this myth. I mean, if you take the group known as the Aviary, which was passing information to William Moore, and on and basically passing also passing disinformation to uh, Paul Benowitz to drive Benowitz insane, um, they it included individuals like uh, like Colonel John B. Alexander, who was a member of a CFR think tank. And allegedly Edward Teller, the creator, the father of the of the um, hydrogen bomb, of the of the H bomb, and uh, and a, a pioneer of uh, geoengineering. Correct, correct. He was more so. Okay, now I'm stopping at two hours and one minute.